there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. I am so grateful you are here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to view another one of my weeklies. And to my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough for your love, your loyalty, and support. I am truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out the description box below for information on that, or you can hop on over to capellawellness.com. I also want to announce that I'm holding a Zoom group session on January 16th, 23rd, and 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for 10 people per session. This is to help those navigate the challenging energies that are coming to us in 2022. All right, especially with the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces that is coming in April of this year. These sessions are to help empower us. I will give many readings to everyone who's in the session with regards to specifics as to how you are going to best um, navigate these energies in 2022. We'll have a lot of fun. We'll also um, have a Q&A session. We'll have a healing meditation at the end. And I will reveal a surprise to those who attend. If you would like to find out more information about that, you can find that out in the description box below. I wish you all a very happy new year, all the best in 2022, and a wonderfully blessed week. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for being here. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wish you a wonderful week this week, and I am wishing you a happy new year again, in case I didn't tell you before. All right, Taurus, what we're going to do here is we're going to see what your overall theme is for this week, what you need to focus on, and what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth. Because that's what this is all about. Stick around to the end so you can see what is coming to you with regards to love, what other guided spirit has for you. And we're also going to see what Mercury retrograde is teaching you this time around. Mercury goes retrograde on January 14th. I am recording this on January 10th, 2022. All right, Taurus, let's see what your overall theme is for this week. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family. Oh, there we go. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Ask, Taurus, and you shall receive. Clear, cancel, and release. All right. Bottom of the deck learning experience well we talked about what mercury retrograde is teaching you this week right so maybe with regards to clearing your energies and blocking um, negativity maybe this is something you need to learn more about this time around taurus um this week and it doesn't have to be this week okay when i say this week it's not really this week because i really believe that these are more timeless than anything else but Whenever you watch this, you're going to undergo some sort of big learning experience. We are on Earth School. We are um, souls having a human experience, right? So whatever this is here, Taurus, and I'm seeing the Hermit card with this because this person's holding a lantern, right? It's like how the hermit is following the, his destiny, his light, his uh, North Star. There's something here where um, you're going to be reevaluating certain situations and circumstances in your life that are going to bring you wisdom. They're going to help you to see the bigger picture. They're going to help you to really understand what your life's purpose is, what your mission here is. It's going to help you with your spiritual growth. This is really going to help you expand your consciousness and help you to really um, be more in tune with the reality that 
things aren't black and white in this world, that this is a multidimensional world and you are the multidimensional being. Okay. Um, there's a lot of things to be observed this week, a lot of wisdom to be gained. So pay attention to the details, pay attention to what's going around you, but also with these energies, you're really going to be understanding how to better clear your mind, your body, your soul to get to a more state, a better state of peace, um, more stability, more tranquility, more balance in your life. You see how she has her hands up and other people's energies are trying to affect her energies, right? Just kind of like uh, blocking those lower vibrational energies from others, from toxic relationships, toxic jobs, people in general, and you're not allowing anyone to infiltrate your space, right? This could even be with the dark forces, okay? Um, I usually see Seven of Wands with that Dark Forces card or even the Devil card, but there's something here where uh, you're really going to understand how to better keep away from allowing negativity and others' words and their demeanor and stuff like that to affect you. All right. Whatever it is, it isn't for your highest good here, Taurus. You're going to be canceling it out. You're going to be clear. You're going to be free and clear of these lower vibrational energies. This is really going to be helping you because maybe for some of you, Taurus, um, maybe you have a tendency to allow others to affect your demeanor, your psyche, your energies here. And then what happens is you become overly consumed with all of these toxic energies and everybody else's problems and everybody else's undoings I heard everybody else's issues and it, it's hard for you to to not only have a life but it's hard for you to function maybe for some of you remember this is a general reading take what resonates leave what doesn't for somebody else but make sure your unhealthy ego is in check and you're honest with yourself right as I talk about often on dishonesty doesn't get us anywhere these messages are for your betterment. It's for your evolution of the soul, for your spiritual growth, right? So you can be the individual God called you to be. So this is really going to be a time of you really learning how to do a lot more of this, Taurus. Also learning how to let go and let God, to surrender fully and not having to control things and just allowing yourself to just be and accept things for what they are asking and receiving right the world can't give you what you want unless you ask but you also have to be in vibrational alignment with it right if you're asking for miracles if you're asking for like a job or a relationship to come in or you're asking for more peace or if you're asking for more tranquility whatever this is God will grant that to you. But remember, with these energies here, you have to let go of what doesn't serve you so that you can receive what it is that you are seeking, what you are asking, right? Especially if there are, there are negative energies surrounding you, it's infiltrating your energetic space, that's going to block the manifestation of your heart's desires. It's going to block the newness of coming in. All right, so... Um, there may be even something coming in, some actual event that is going to help you to learn how to better do this, where you're going to release the old so that the new could come in. But remember, if you're just waiting for something to happen or something to change, there's something that you have to do first, and it could very well be doing this. God does hear your prayers, Taurus. But in the same token, if God is asking you to do something specific, Taurus, to help you get there, then it's time for you to listen to what God is telling you. 
And yes, I'm hearing again, as I said when I read this card, ask and you shall receive. But in order for you to receive here, Taurus, you have to let go of something. Maybe releasing the past. Cutting off cords, 3D cords with toxic people, jobs, friendships, karmic relationships, okay? Help is available to you here. But what happens is, Taurus, the angels and God cannot help you unless you ask them for help. God is always here. He's always waiting for us to just say, God, please, whatever it is that you're seeking, whatever it is that you need, God will grant it to you. But of course, you have there's divine timing. There's things that we have to do, like I talked about. You're wanting something new to come in, something to change. And if it's not happening yet, Taurus, that's because of divine timing. But this is also about you letting go of something in order to gain something. All right. But know that you are, um, miracles do happen here. But it's just a matter of praying about it and asking God to help you see you through to bring about that miracle. But again, remember, if God's asking you to let go of something so that this miracle could come in, you're going to have to let go of it. Otherwise, the circumstances aren't going to change. Let's say if you want, you know, some sort of like abuse to stop in a relationship. And God's telling you to lead the relationship. God will bring the miracles for you to get out of there as soon as you take those steps to, to clear from that relationship to release yourself from that toxic relationship you got to take some sort of action taurus that's for somebody specific if you want to be let go of this abuse or this pain or whatever this is in a relationship and again it, that's that's just general it's not for everybody but somebody here that is specific message for them but i think you guys understand what i'm talking about And if you keep praying and praying and praying and you're not seeing anything, know that God's working on it. He has a lot of prayers to answer, right? This is not like Amazon Prime where we have put in our prayer and then we get it two days later or a few days later. That's not how it is. It's not like a microwave either, right? You put something in the microwave and it's done in like a minute, 30 seconds. That's not how God operates. Everything happens on God's time, not our time. But God is working things behind the scenes. It's kind of like the high priestess card. Things are going on behind the scenes you don't know about. But just continue to be free and clear of any negative thoughts surrounding these prayers or any negative thoughts surrounding your situations. But if, again, if God has asked you to do something here, Taurus, if you've been given the green light to go ahead with something, then watch. God will hit that other button and say, oh, okay, Taurus did this. Now I'm going to bring about this miracle. That's what I'm getting. Some of you, um, there's something that you got to do first before this miracle co can come in, before this prayer can be answered. Is you're, you're blocking something from coming in. Okay. And this is a learning experience for you. You're like, God, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? I prayed about it. And maybe sometimes you pray about it several times. God's like, I heard you, Taurus. I heard you. But if God gave you specific instructions, okay, Taurus, I heard you, but you need to do this first. You got to act upon that. All right. God's not going to abandon you. God's not going to leave you out in the dust. 
But remember, we co-create with God. We co-create with the universe. He expects us to do things, and then he will work those miracles. We can't get something for nothing. All right. Let's see what you need to focus on for this week. What does Taurus need to focus on for this week? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Well, we have the Six of Swords here. See, there's something you need to move away from. <laughs> Clear, cancel, release. If you're dealing with toxic energies here, and I did mention like abusive relationship, which is a little bit scary here because Five of Swords talks about abuse. It could be mental abuse, abuse of other forms. So for somebody here... Um, not to be Debbie Downer, but, you know, this is encouragement and empowerment because God is on your side. You know, God will answer your prayers, but there's something you got to do. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was strange. Okay. I was releasing something there because I sneezed. You see what happens? You got to find more peace and tranquility. When you clear those negative energies, you may have to set boundaries. You may have to put up barriers where you're going to say, nope, I'm not going to allow this to affect my vibration. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. Again, clear, cancel, release. You're going to be moving away from those energies that are low vibrational, dishonest people or jobs or People are trying to strip you of your integrity and your power. Um, people are trying to take advantage of you. You're going to say, nope, I'm not dealing with this anymore. So remember what I said, that there's something you're going to have to do, Taurus, and here it is. You're going to have to be the one to get in the boat if you want things to get better. God is answering your prayer, but you got to get in the boat first. You want things to change. You want things to be more peaceful, more tranquil. You're going to have to do something and you're going to have to get in that boat and move away from this unpleasant situation. Fighting, arguing, hostilities. Right? I talked about people being disloyal, dishonest. Maybe people are trying to humiliate you. Okay? And you're like, when is this going to end? But that's why I was talking about cutting the cords, right? Some of you are going to have to cut those cords. You say, you know what? Doing about face. I'm getting in this boat and I'm heading towards my peace, my happiness. If I want balance in my life, if I want things to be a lot more tranquil, I'm going to have to move away from the situation. You've been asking for this to get resolved, Taurus. But you're the one who's going to have to get in the boat. God's telling you, get in the boat, Taurus, and I will bring you that peace. I will resolve this conflict for you. But you got to move away from it. Some of you literally have to move. Some of you literally have to relocate to someplace else. You want a more stable, solid relationship? I talked about stability, right? You're going to have to be the one to walk away. I'm seeing it. It comes with this too. Move away. There's something about you're hoping that peace will be made between you and another person. Um, you want things and a connection to improve. B 
because before you may have had some sort of regrets about something and you're praying that it will turn out well. But God is already telling you, I've answered your prayer already, Taurus, but you're the one who's going to have to make the move. You're the one who's going to have to, again, get in the boat. There's something about travel here, too. Maybe somebody needs to travel to you, Taurus. You need to travel to them. Maybe you got to cross a river or something like that. Maybe you got to get in a boat, literally. <laughs> I don't know. That's for somebody. But focus on this thing being resolved. Visualize it. Alongside with that prayer. Okay. Visualize it. Know that everything's going to be okay. There are better times ahead. There's a truce here. Somebody wants to make amends or something. But someone's going to have to be the one to start that. All right. Bottom of the deck is the star card. Your wish has been granted. Your prayer has been answered, Taurus. There is a miracle here. This is a miracle card for me with the star card. All right. There's something here. You want this situation to be resolved and you just want the peace. I want to be done with this. But this is also about tranquility, right? And peace and healing. You guys want to heal? You want a prosperous new beginning? You want prosperity? You want, um, you want your wishes to come true? You're going to have to get in the boat. And you know what this is, Taurus. As I said, can't get something for nothing. God has been telling you to do something. And until you take action on something, Taurus, that mural is just going to sit there until you get in the boat. There's this whole thing about getting in the boat. And I don't know, for somebody, it might literally be getting in a boat. <laughs> Others of you, you literally have to, to move. If this is a, a toxic relationship here where all you guys are doing is fighting and somebody's always trying to um, betray you or lie to you or something like that, really negative energy, you're going to have to up and leave, Taurus. And God, God will take care of the rest. He's trying to give you the power and strength and courage. Maybe that's what you need to ask God for, Taurus. God, please give me the courage and strength to walk away from this person, to walk away from this job, walk away from the situation. I'm finding my peace elsewhere. We are the ones who are in full control of whether we deal with toxic energies or not. There's a lesson to be learned here. That's why we have the learning experience. You're going to learn from the situation. You're going to say, you know what? Peace out. I'm moving ahead. I'm moving forward. I'm transitioning to where I want more peace in my life. And maybe you're now going to start your journey of healing. Others of you, you're hoping that this miracle comes with resolving some sort of conflict with somebody. But again, you're going to have to be the one to take action on this. If you want peace in the connection amongst the, some sort of relationship at a job,
some of you are going to have to be the ones to to make amends with that person. There's a little bit of doubt I'm sensing for somebody here. But with the star card, this is your destiny. This is faded. It was written in the stars. Everything's going to turn out fine. Leaving this unpleasant situation, this toxic situation, it's it's part of your destiny. You're supposed to learn from this situation and grow from it. And for some of you, it's getting you on your path to healing, as I said. Others of you, you've been wishing really hard on stars or something like that. You've been praying very hard, too, for a miracle to occur with regards to some sort of peace being brought to some sort of situation. And God is telling you, with this card right here, your wish has been granted, Taurus. Watch the miracle unfold. Just stay optimistic. Release any regrets, any resentments, any anger, any hurt. Fully. And watch the miracle unfold. All right, let's see what Taurus needs to avoid for this week. Well, Capricorn got um, this, but in the upright as a clarifier. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse for you. Taurus, what did I say about release? Release any burdens, any stress, right? Regrets, anything that has been weighing heavy on you, Taurus. It's time for you to let that go. Reevaluate the situation. Why do you feel Ten of Wands? What's overburdening you? Apparently, with regards to moving away to calmer waters here. You're going to have more of a sense of peace. This weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders. Don't keep that weight up there. You know you can't handle this anymore. This has become a strain on you. This has been keeping you from making forward progress. Just dropping all the wands here. Taurus. You're now dropping all the wands. Don't continue to try to trudge up that path thinking that you're going to be able to handle all of this stuff when in reality it's going to be weighing you down and prevent you from moving forward. Okay. Time for release. You're going to feel a huge sense of relief when you get in that boat here, Taurus. Yeah, something's been really burdening you. You've been keeping something in. And you know there's something you got to do. Let go and let God. This does not have to be something that is going to weigh very heavy on you anymore, Taurus. Let go. That's the release card. It's dropping the wands. Feeling a sense of relief. Okay. But again, I will say again, got to get in the boat. There's also like somebody here, some of you are transitioning to a much more better place with regards to a relationship. There's something here with this. It's like a mother and a child are in the boat. 
there's somebody here about somebody being a protector or provider. It's kind of like King of Pentacles energy. I don't know why I'm getting this all of a sudden. Um, it's like you want to take care of a mother and a child or something. Or you, you want to bring them to paradise. Because usually people talk about the Six of Swords about moving to paradise or something like that. Something that's more peaceful. It's a better way of living, I'm hearing. That's for somebody here. I don't know why that came up, but they had me look at that card again because of that mother and the child that are in there. There's the male who's pushing the boat away. It's kind of like, here, I'm going to get you out of this challenge, out of this predicament. Um, yeah, I'm hearing like I'm going to take care of you both. I don't know that's for somebody specific. Anyway, Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. All right. If you're being surrounded by drama, no, we, we got to let go of that. Release that. All right. Maybe there's repressed emotions here. Maybe for somebody here, um, you have been trying to really express your feelings about something to someone. And you may have been waiting on that. And maybe that was the burden for you where it's like, I cannot keep this in anymore I have to say something this is the queen of love here she loves very deeply but she's not afraid to express it it's not like the king of cups where he loves very deeply and he doesn't really express it Maybe for some of you, this may be a little bit of a fear of someone expressing their feelings for someone. And, and you're hoping and praying that either someone's not going to come at you like Queen of Swords. Or that someone is not going to um, try to argue with you or cause a fight. There's something about causing an argument or causing a fight with this expression of emotions, which is kind of funny. Maybe something happened in the past for you, Taurus, where um, you said something, but it wasn't really the right thing to say, and the person kind of maybe went off on you or something, and it caused a little bit of an argument. I don't know. That's for somebody here. But whatever emotions you need to express here, Taurus, it's time for you to, to let that out, okay? That could be the release here. Letting go of, of the stress of holding in these emotions, this deep love that you have for somebody. The Queen of Cups, she expresses it freely and she, she's not worried about it. She doesn't make excuses. She doesn't make judgments. She has a lot of compassion. And even if something goes wrong, she's still going to have unconditional love for that person. Okay? But don't repress your feelings. That may have very well been causing a lot of stress for you. A lot of burdens. It's like I, it's weighing heavy on me. This is emotional imbalance here. Yep. Somebody here has to trust their intuition. And just go with the flow. That's why I said you already know what to do, Taurus. Don't wallow in your sorrows. Um, don't become overly codependent on somebody, especially in a relationship. Don't be overly emotional. Because you know once you get in that boat, it's going to be a huge sigh of relief. There may be a little bit of crying. But know that it's going to be better for you. Okay? Just let go, let God. There's no need to hold it in anymore. When you express how you truly feel in your heart, Taurus... You're going to feel a huge sense of peace. And again, you've been praying for something. You want this miracle to happen? 
you're gonna have to say how you really feel. Do it from a place of love and compassion and things are gonna get better. Queen of Cups also talks about a relationship moving to the next phase, the next level. That's a transition too, right? I was talking about that. But yeah, if you're you're holding back some emotions here, Taurus, there's no need to hold back anymore. Everything's going to work out in your favor is what I just heard. Have faith. You've prayed about it, but God has said, okay, Taurus, again, it's time for you to take action. Everything's going to turn out fine. Six of Swords. Why Six of Swords here, Spirit Guides and Angels? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All right, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Like, look at all this. I'm going to shove it over so you don't think I'm crazy. I think you heard it. There's a bunch of cards there, okay? A bunch of cards. A bunch of cards. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Some flipped up. See, there's a lot. Maybe somebody's been praying for a lot. Oh, my God. All right. There's a lot of majors here. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to do this as best as I can. We have the Six of Cups. There's reconciliation here. Making peace. Forgiveness. Okay. Um, you Maybe you're asking for forgiveness. You ask God, please forgive me. I know not what I do. Oh, my God. I've been singing that song for the past two days. That's a Brian Adams song. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe somebody's going to send that song to you or sing that song to you. I don't know. That's kind of nuts. Peace, tranquility, all right? Um, harmony here. Reconciliation, reunion, rekindling something. Somebody coming back from the past, okay, who wants to be generous to you, wants to be kind. They're asking for forgiveness. I'm hearing the Brian Adams song, Please Forgive Me Again, all right? Maybe somebody's going to bring you flowers. Or that's you, Taurus. You want to reconcile with somebody. See? Take action. Be fearless. Take the risk. Knight of Wands. All right? You guys know what to do. See? With the conflict, I said Five of Wands, right? There's conflict, arguing. Nope. Misunderstandings. That's all going to be cleared up here. Taurus, it's all going to be cleared up. There's no need to be in this conflict. There's no need to self-sabotage either. If you're doing that, Taurus, we don't need to do that. Seven of Cups, don't get distracted. Don't think that, you know, what you're about to do or what's happening is not the right choice, okay? God already told you what to do. Don't have clouded judgment. Don't lose focus, okay? Don't be afraid of taking that risk, thinking that it's, it's going to be the wrong choice here. You have a lot of dreams about this conflict of resolution. You've been hoping and wishing, right? It's going to happen. The chariot. Okay, so now we've got the knight of wands and the chariot. There's something with travel here. These are all travel cards, guys. Maybe you need to travel to someone to make amends with them, to make peace, to, to reunite, to reconcile. Um, somebody could be showing up to your house. These There's a lot of travel cards here. There's three of them already. And you know what the other one is? The Wheel of Fortune and the World card. Yep, somebody's being asked to travel to go make peace with somebody. Someone really needs to express how they feel. And they're saying, you know what? I can't do this over email. I can't do this over text. I'm going to have to go there and show my face and be confident and courageous and and fearless and, and just take it. Take this risk. I have to do this because this is what I'm being divinely guided to do. Trust your gut. 
there is victory and success here with this reconciliation, right? This conflict of resolution. Seven of Wands. Don't give up. You got to persevere. It's like you have, you're being tested on whether you're going to do the right thing or not here, Taurus. Or it's your person. Take it how it resonates. But you have to stand your ground, okay? You have to stand up for you believe in. This is my Tom Petty card, the I won't back down card. Okay? You got to fight for this. This is worth fighting for, Taurus. It's worth fighting for. You've been through a lot already, okay? This is a divinely guided situation, connection, all right? Um, we saw the star card here. It's it's destined. You know it. And faded. See, I can't make it up, you guys. The Wheel of Fortune is here. This is going to work out in your favorite Taurus. This is destiny. This is faded. You cannot go around this because God is overseeing this. This is a strong connection. This is a situation where things are going to work out for you. These are unexpected events that are turning in your favor here, Taurus. Take advantage of it because you know deep down inside because with this divinely led type of thing all right you know deep down that it's going to work out because this is your destiny this is a faded event here luck is on your side taurus there's great fortune that will come of the situation when you Take the reins and you move towards whoever this is or whatever, or move away from this conflict. All right. This challenge that you have been trying to overcome. World card. Again, with the success and great achievement, you're coming full circle here, Taurus. It's going to be a great success. You're going to feel very fulfilled once you make this move and you reconcile and you resolve these conflicts once and for all and you bring peace to your life, to the situation. All right. Nine of Swords. See, there's something about communicating something here. Could be communicating your feelings. This is the champion of the people with the Page of Swords. You're going to be ambitious and bold. You're going to overcome any challenge. You're not going to be afraid of this. You're not going to give in to this fear, worry, and anxiety about what is going to happen. Okay? You're going to communicate something that you haven't communicated before. But look at all these positive cards. Look at all the major arcana here already. Again, with the success twice. This is the end of a cycle here. You're starting a completely new life. Once you get in that boat, okay? And somebody literally needs to travel to someone. It's divinely led. Follow your divine guidance. You cannot go wrong. God knows that you need to do this. And again, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's faded. We have one, two, three. Is that three major arcana? Yeah, three major arcana. And we saw the star card, right? Release this, Taurus. This needs to go. I'd set it on fire, but I'm going to need that card in another reading. And it's funny because you know what uh, Capricorn got? On clarifying their focus cards, they got both of these. There's this energy surrounding fears and illusions and stuff like that. Anxiety. Nope. Don't give in to that, Taurus. Let's, let's put the Wheel of Fortune. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Let's put that there. What? I thought I put... There it is. The other ones are the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's ultimate achievement. There's great success. Um, reunion. Marriage. Could be a reconciliation. Ultimate happiness. This is a completion of something. You're going to be very happy with this. If you want marriage with somebody, Taurus, or you want to have a long-term relationship with them build a family legacy with them it's going to be a success there's no need to be afraid of communicating this to this person holy cow now we have the strength card that's the fourth major arcana 
There's the fifth major arcana. There's the queen of cups again, the knight of swords, and the ten of wands again. Guys, courage and confidence. This is going to be a success, okay? There's recovery here. Conflict of resolution. This is union of opposites. It's, this is about two people coming together. And things are going to be resolved. You have to maintain that courage and confidence within yourself. And believe in yourself here. Taurus. Hermit. We got Virgo. We got Leo. We've got Cancer. It doesn't matter with the signs, but maybe that is uh, resonating with you. Um, this has been a long journey for you. You've been trusting the light, holding the light, following the light. This is destined. See, he's following his destiny. Some of you have already know, you already know what you're, you're fated to do here. You already know what your destiny is. You've gained a lot of wisdom from this journey. You have really gone within and, and grown spiritually. You, some of you have achieved spiritual mastery here. Okay. Ten of Wands, again, release this burden, the stress. There's no need to be overcome by this anymore. Knight of Swords, the go-getter. You know what to do here, Taurus. You're not going to be afraid of this. You know what you want. You're going to go after it. You are laser focused and highly intent on fulfilling your mission of bringing conflict of resolution to this connection or whatever this is of, of moving away from whatever is toxic. Even moving away from the regret, you're not going to be worried about it anymore. You're just going to be gung ho and saying, you know, the hell with this, I'm just going to get this done. This is also another travel card. This could be sudden, shocking, unexpected news, sudden, drastic life changes. Somebody coming out of the blue and be like, hey, Taurus, what's going on? I'm here. <laughs> Taurus, if this person's coming to you, like, they have a lot to say. There's going to be a lot of changes with this conflict of resolution, with this reunion, this, this, whatever this is. A lot's going to be changing, Taurus. Get ready. Or Taurus, you're the one doing this. Your life's going to change, too. Queen of Cups, again. A relationship is moving to the next phase. Someone is expressing their true feelings here. Trusting your intuition and not giving into, you know, any fears. No excuses. You are so psychic here, Taurus. You're that you have this inner knowing that this is going to work out well. So there's no reason to give into Nine of Swords energy. There's no reason to fear. There's no reason to worry about this. To, to be anxious. Let it go. No more stress. We have triple stress here, guys, with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. I'm not pulling out the Nine of Swords. We already know it's there. And this, this will be such a relief for you, Taurus, when you just let it all out. It's like the Ace of Cups. You let your emotions out. You express how you truly feel. And you will feel so much better, so much more at peace when you do this. And you know it too. Because God has been telling you, everything will work out, Taurus. Just trust in me. Your prayer has been answered. The miracle will come, but you just have to do this one thing. And apparently this one thing, Taurus, whether it's you or your person, is communicating your feelings with honesty and integrity. Opening your heart finally. To bring about healing. Misunderstandings too. Separation. Maybe you're separated from somebody. You don't want to be separated anymore. You regret what you did. But now it's time for you to have that courage and confidence. Take that risk. Move forward and say, you know what, Taurus? Or Taurus, this is you. Um, I want to reconcile. I want to make amends. I want peace, finally. I can't keep eating around the bush. I can't continue to allow myself to be overcome and overburdened by keeping these feelings inside, by keeping this love to myself. 
got to release this heartbreak. There's been a lot of misunderstandings with a connection. Either you move away from something that is not serving you, Taurus, that you need to leave a relationship, or this is somebody here where somebody's coming back from the past, that is Six of Cups, to reconcile. Because I'm hearing separation is ending. You don't want to be separated from this person anymore. But for others of you, it's time for you to separate from somebody because you know that this person is not for your highest good and you're being divinely led to move. You've been given the green light to go, Taurus, and it's like, you know what? I got to do this come hell or high water. I'm just going to get it done. Even if you break the other person's heart, Taurus, if you're removing yourself from a toxic relationship, somebody who keeps betraying you and lying to you, whatever else this is, This is for your highest good. You're going to heal from this. You're going to feel a huge sense of relief. So don't be afraid of breaking somebody's heart because you know that this toxic relationship is not for you. You can't be in that anymore. You have to get in that boat and find your own happiness. They'll heal too. We all heal from heartbreak. It's necessary because I will say from my experience, going through heartbreak helped me get closer to God. I would not be here. I would not be where I'm at if it weren't for all the heartbreak that I went through. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my God, look who shows up at the bottom. Didn't I say, don't be king of cups? <laughs> Somebody's been holding in a lot of love. I mean, now we have the counterparts, guys. Yep, this could very well be, some of you, this is a divine counterpart connection. Could very well be like counterpart, what I call it, which is also known as, not really to others, but it's the same journey. It's the twin flame stuff, okay? This is a divinely guided connection. Can't make it up. Here's the king. You can't keep holding in those emotions anymore, Taurus. You know you can't. But God has already shown you, Taurus, that everything's going to be fine. You've prayed that when you reveal your emotions, when you pour your heart out to this person, you communicate that that it will bring peace to the connection, that everything will be okay, and that what you've been wanting with this individual will manifest, and that's Ten of Pentacles, along with everything else. Don't hold it in. Don't give it to, and this could also be a drama. Again, if you're in a relationship where there's a lot of drama in it, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of crazy stuff going on, nope. Time to go. Time to go. You know what your situation is, Taurus. Knight of Pentacles, here's the Three of Swords coming out and the moon. Release those fears. There's no need to fear about anything. Any uncertainties, there's no reason to doubt. You got to trust your intuition. Your intuition is leading the way. God is leading the way. You know exactly what it is to do. You, you kind of have to stop being stubborn a little bit, Taurus, and, and and saying, you know what, I don't know if I should go through with this because I'm not sure if this is going to work out. No, let that go. Okay. Um, you've worked very hard on this offer. You've worked very hard on yourself, on your well-being. You've worked very hard on healing too, Taurus. Or your person did. going through the dark night of the soul. Maybe there's a fear of the unknown. Let go. Let it go. Maybe you're afraid that your heart's going to get broken if you make this offer to this person. If you, you know, because it's been a long time. Maybe for somebody here, it's taking you a long time to muster up the courage to say something to offer commitment to somebody. 
It's probably because you didn't know what this connection was before, and that happens a lot, especially with these light counterpart connections. You gotta follow through with this. I'm hearing there's no turning back now, Taurus. You worked very hard, not only on your healing, but you worked very hard on making a solid, stable offer of commitment to somebody. Or even just an offer of some sort. It doesn't have to be about love or commitment. Or it just could be committed to a task, committed to focusing on yourself, right? That's for those of you who are leaving toxic connections where there's a lot of drama and you're going to be committed more to really taking the time out, being patient on healing your broken heart. Because your intuition has been telling you, you know, Taurus, this is not for you anymore. There's no need to be afraid about any of this. And to the person who's taken a long time to say something, to express something, God already heard your prayer. Here's the thing. With the counterpart cards, now they want me to bring this guy out. What did I say? We saw what? And I said union of opposites, right? Strength card. This connection here between the king and queen of cups, and let me tell you, this connection, there is a tremendous, a lot, a tremendous, a lot, a tremendous amount of love between the two of you. It's like undeniable. There's so much love here. It's like, I feel like my heart's going to explode, seriously. It's kind of overwhelming too with the amount of love that these king, the king and queen have for each other. Both of you have learned how to master unconditional love. You now understand what true love is, what unconditional love is. And now you're ready to, to express that. Or actually the king of cups is ready to express to the queen of cups because now the king of cups is not afraid to be the queen of cups if that makes any if that makes any sense with expressing emotions and not being afraid to be vulnerable um this divine connection right here amongst these counterparts it, i said it's faded this is a past life connection right here with the six of cups this is soulmate like counterpart twin flame energy can't make it up It was destined for a success here, Taurus. I'm looking for the Wheel of Fortune if you're trying to wonder what the heck I'm doing. See, with all these, there's a reason why all these cards came out, guys, because this is going to work out. And, and this communication is going to change everything. Shocking news. Especially with regards to how this person reveals their feelings i don't know why you guys saw the wheel of fortune here you saw it so i'm not going to continue even though it took a long time for this person you know what this means he is the most honorable and trustworthy and loyal and devoted of all the knights all of them and we do have the knight of sword oh gosh we have three knights guys i just realized this Who's missing? Knight of Cups. Guys, we have three knights. This is really talking about really taking action on this, Taurus. <laughs> Somebody is coming in with great honor and chivalry. Determination. Whatever offer this is, Taurus. It is solid. It is stable. It is coming from a very trustworthy person who has really built their confidence and has mastered focus. And they have been able to really take very good care of themselves. And they were really working hard on paying attention to every detail with regards to this offer because they want to get it right. This is a very serious offer. He's the most serious out of all the knights too. 
And I said, this is trustworthy. A very chivalrous individual, very warm-hearted and kind. They're not going to say, take no for an answer is what I heard. They spent a lot of time healing, like I said, but they've also spent a lot of time coming up with this offer so that it is perfect in their eyes. They know it's taken them a long time to muster up the courage to come forth with this, especially with commitment, because what I'm getting for somebody here, they had an incredible fear of commitment. And that was based on what happened in their past. And with the Six of Cups, a lot of uh, childhood wounds were healed. So this is also Taurus for you to not waste any more time. Not waste any more time, but... Um, You've been patient long enough. You don't need to put any more detail to this. You don't need to put any more work into this because you're ready. All right? You're ready. You are ready, Taurus. Oh, my gosh. Now what am I doing here? All right. Let's get guidance. What guidance do we have for Taurus? Guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What guidance do we have for Taurus? This is definitely, definitely destined and faded. There's a lot of wealth with this, too. Now, they're, they're telling me we have Ten of Pentacles with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. The World card. Some of you might be doing a lot of traveling. And somebody is literally moving somewhere else. There is a move here. We're moving in together, moving to a completely different location. There is a lot of travel. Or maybe you two are going, part of your mission is to travel the world like, like missionaries or something to do your mission work. Walk away from illusions and toward truth. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Psalm 25, 4. See? Walk away from the illusions. Talked about that. The illusions with the Seven of Cups and the illusions with the Moon card. Right? That will cause that anxiety instead. Walk towards truth. The Knight of Swords is all about the truth right there. Don't give in to this. Don't doubt this, Taurus. The cards don't lie. Some of you know that you need to communicate the truth. Don't get caught up in your head. Don't think that this is hopeless. Don't think that you, I took too long. Because you know what? I'm going to be completely honest here, Taurus. I've heard in other readings before... When they talk about, um, oh, it's too late. I've even seen it in comments. It's too late. I get it. Everyone has free will. But here's the thing. God, for God, there is no such thing as too late. That's why patience is so important. That's why divine timing, which is also the Wheel of Fortune card, is so important. God, it's under God's will. God says when something is going to happen. It is not up to us. So, and look, guys, this is this is coming from my experience. This is my opinion. And I'm not going to chastise anybody who says, no, nah, it's too late. The ship has sailed. That's fine. I respect that. Okay. But here's the thing for, for me and what God has shown me. He specifically told me. Even with certain things like with my business or certain things that I want to manifest, Jess, this is according to my will. 
I will present this to you in the time that I feel is right because I am the one in control. Because in reality, guys, God is in full control and we have to trust that. We don't tell God to hurry up and wait. <laughs> right? We, we don't tell God to hurry up. No, that's, that's not our, our doing. It's all up to when God feels is the perfect time for things to happen. And that's with everything. Everything. And sometimes when it comes to these divine counterpart connections, it takes a long time for somebody to heal. You cannot rush somebody's healing. I sure as heck would not want somebody to push me and rush me with regards to healing my broken heart. You know how disrespectful that is? That is not coming from the light. That's coming from ego and from the dark. If we're trying to tell somebody to hurry up, especially with regards to healing, a lot of us heal at different times. And even if this Knight of Pentacles took forever to get here, it's because he was very dedicated and very set on bettering him or herself. Knowing that time heals all wounds. Knowing that it takes time to rebuild and restructure our hearts relationships with people, a relationship with God. It took me years and I'm not complaining. Sure, at the beginning, it's like, okay, well, when are things going to change? Or when is this going to manifest or whatever? And then God's like, Jess, you need to be patient. Patience with the Knight of Pentacles there. Everything happens in divine timing. And for those of us who just can't find that patience, we end up missing out on the miracles that God has waiting for us. That is a huge reward. When we have that amount of patience and we have that amount of faith and trust in God, He rewards those people insanely because He knows a lot of people do not have patience. They want things in their own time. I talked about, I think I already said something about was it this reading or the other one? This is not Amazon Prime. You know, we don't operate by using microwaves all the time. It doesn't come that fast, especially with true love here with the King and Queen of Pentacles. Uh, whoops, King and Queen of Cups. That type of love takes a very long time to build and to understand. Okay. But I get it. Everyone's entitled. But again, you don't have the patience for it. That's on you. But do not complain if you start finding yourselves in relationships that are not what the King and Queen of Cups have. That are not the divine couple level. Okay? Everything is on God's time because it is according to his will and his will alone. So I will leave it on that. I'll get off my soapbox. Bottom of the deck is focus on your blessings. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. Second book of Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 11. Oh my gosh, look, 911. That number has been showing up for me several times a day for the past few months. That is the union number. That union is incredibly close. Focus on your blessings, Taurus. This is telling me that, you know, when I talked about the miracles, there's the miracles and the blessings, that these blessings are going to come to you, Taurus. And this is for those who have been patient who haven't been just sitting around complaining. They have been doing their work, continuing on their path, and being patient. 
You get all of these blessings and all of these miracles when you are patient. And it says you will be enriched in every way. I'm also hearing again about the great fortune here that is coming to you, Taurus. A lot of wealth. So whenever received, you receive this great wealth and this love of a lifetime, give thanks to God, show gratitude, and give back to what you're getting from this reward that you are about to receive. And always be grateful for what you have and what you don't have for the rest of the days of your life. Because those of you who are coming into union with somebody, there's a lot of amazing things happening here. You're going to be blessed beyond belief. All right. Okay. Let's see what Mercury retrograde is teaching you. What is Mercury retrograde teaching? Did I say that right? Taurus, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, that was fast. <gasps> I felt it. I knew this card was going to come out. Look. Some of you, it's teaching you about what true love is, especially if you're removing yourself from a toxic relationship or something. That's what Mercury Retrograde is teaching you. What I heard before I was shuffling was that Mercury Retrograde is bringing you true love. Oh my God. This is also about loving yourself. Okay. Working on healing. Peace. There's the dove right there. There's the heart. It's green. It's the heart chakra and the lotus enlightening that heart to fill it with that undeniably undeniable true love of God, the divine love of God. And if somebody's coming back during Mercury retrograde here, because that's what tends to happen, you're really going to understand what true love really is, especially when this person communicates their feelings and what they've been through. You guys have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and um, you start to see what love really is all about because a lot of us get these skewed visions and notions and belief systems about what true love is. True love is not hard to achieve, guys. It's not. That's why not everybody gets to experience it. It's about forgiveness, acceptance, unconditional love, healing through heartbreak, not having resentment and anger, loving all of yourself so that you can love others. Right? That's a huge lesson. And that... The learning experience with regards to what love is, that's pretty huge. Wow, look at that. See? Love is here. Taurus. Bottom of the deck is purification. Yeah. That could be with the star card too. The healing. releasing yourself from the toxicities and the burdens and the fears and all that stuff, the illusions. When your heart is full of that divine love of God, it's completely purified. It's completely healed. A lot of purification has <laughs> happened in this connection between the both of you. And some of you, when you start to really understand what love really is, what true love really is, and how it can bring you peace, it's going to purify your heart so that when you're full of it, you can attract the love of a lifetime. That's for others of you who are leaving toxic, dramatic, 
unpleasant relationships. It's a lesson for you to be learned. It's a lesson for you to learn. Your heart will heal. It will mend, but it will take some time. If you have to allow yourself to surrender to God and be like, okay, God, you know, help me heal through this. But you take those action steps needed that God wants you to take as you undergo your healing process and God will take care of the rest. That's how it works. All right. And since we got the love card, let's see what your love situation looks like for this week. Spirit guys, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good what does Taurus's love situation look like for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I see, I told you guys, relationship evolving to the next phase. You can't make it up. I said it. We have, we saw the Queen of Cups twice healing the inner child. I said that too in growth. This is beautiful. This love is blossoming into something greater, this connection. There's um, embracing change. Both of you have undergone some serious transformation. This is like that metamorphosis, right? This is also beauty coming to this connection. And um, things really coming to light. Both of you have grown quite significantly. You've healed the other child. And now there is commitment. There is marriage for some of you in this connection. As I said, the relationship is now evolving to the next phase. Some of you have to start working on healing the inner child for that true love to come in. You got to focus on your spiritual growth. The, the, the hermit came out here, right? Yeah, I picked it up. Spending time in isolation and focusing on your spiritual journey to your true north, following your purpose, which will end up leading you to true love, okay? For those of you who are not coming into union yet, this is your connection moving to the next phase where, um, especially when you're a light counterpart, when you move away from five of swords energy with your person, and you surrender the connection fully to God and you start focusing on your healing your inner child and your growth, the relationship does move to the next phase of healing. That's when the healing really begins because in a light counterpart connection, there's different phases, right? Especially different phases of healing. And separation is always needed in order for both counterparts to do the healing. So the other group of you, you're now moving into the more serious healing stage. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. See when I was getting that type of feeling where you're like, nope, this has been over. The ship has sailed. Again, that's up to you, but go back to what I said. This is destined and faded. It could be that God may continue to throw this connection in your face. Or, as I said, you, you might have a soulmate or some other relationship, but it will not be the divine one that God had called you to be a part of. There are huge rewards when both counterparts have done their work. And they don't try to control the situation. And they don't, you know, tell God, well, well, that's it. Nope. Too late. God laughs and says, there's no such thing as late in my vocabulary. This is my will. I have control. So.
this is really more about how you grow and transform your life. This is telling you guys, when you walk away from this connection, this is saying the relationship is not over. This is a second chance for you to really grow and transform your life, especially if you're a counterpart. This is the purpose of separation. All right. So if you were thinking the relationship is over, nope, it's not. Some of you, the healing's been complete. It's now moving to the next phase. And I love this card. It's ascending. Yep. Moving to the next level. Transcending obstacles. Learning. Expansion. New phase. And preparing for union. There you go. Union is coming to some of you. For those who have learned what true love was. And learned exactly what this connection was all about. And it was about this. Healing the inner child in growth and growth again. Grow and transform your life. Again, the transformation with the butterfly. And what does it say? Learning and expansion. New face. Some of you preparing for union. There's going to be a lot of unions because this is the year of six. That is the lover's card, right? That's sacred union. All right, Taurus. Anything else, spirit? <laughs> Spirits like, prepare yourselves. Union is coming. That's, sorry, that's what he wanted me to tell you. That's what God wanted me to tell you. All right. Taurus, if you would like a personal reading, if you feel drawn to one, please check out the description box below for information on that or hop on over to capellawellness.com. If you want to join me and my Zoom group sessions for the ones I'm holding in January, please check out the description box below for more information on that. Um, this is to prepare us for the energies that are coming in 2022 and they are going to be challenging with the Jupiter Neptune conjunction in Pisces. Anyway, you want to learn more about that again, check out the description box. If you have any questions about anything and you want to reach out to me, send me an email. My email is in the description box as well. All right. Okay, Taurus, that concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't already, and for illuminating the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jasmine Capella Wellness. Starring out.